this is Alan Shea, you know, and I'm here on Hollywood Boulevard tonight with, should I say, the man who's going to make Hollywood a different chapter? Can I say that? Yes. Can, can, can I say a man who's come across the ocean and is going to make a mark? Can I say Bruce Lee? Can I say that? Uh, well, I, I, oh, well, Bruce Lee is already Bruce Lee, but yeah. Uh, We'll make our own mark. Okay, 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 okay. Because I was trying to make sure that you have the greatness of the greatest that gets recognized. Just be Thank you everyone for coming. And thank thank you. you, Breaking Hits. <laughs> Breaking Hits, thank you, thank you. I'm standing here next to, to Christian, and he's going to become the greatest new actor coming to Hollywood. So, so you know, so, so I'm, I'm trying to get him, you know, really pumped up. So, you know, I, I can say I knew Christian back when. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So, so why don't you share with the viewers, give them a little bit of your background as to when did you first get a feeling that you wanted to be an actor? And then what was that journey like to get to where you are today? Okay, so I started acting in the Philippines uh, when I was 24. 24? And um, one of the things, or, or, or one of the, the persons that uh, made me realize that I'm into acting is Ivana Chaba. So she's like the uh, acting coach of Halle Berry, Brad Pitt. So when she uh, had me handpicked uh, for her tutelage, that's when I realized, oh my goodness, I, I kind of find acting um, uh, an avenue, a venue for me to, to uh, release my 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 emotions yeah why don't you share with the viewers as a child or teenager did you have any type of inkling that you had an interest in and in, oh, yeah. in, in film or yeah. movies so so share that with the viewers because the young people want to know they want to know how did you tame yeah. the reality from the dream. Yeah, so um, as a child, I've always wanted to see myself in front of the camera uh, performing. But at first, um, I am certain that I wanted to be a dancer. I wanted to be a dancer, but uh, it was during college when I was introduced to um, theater acting. And uh, that's when I started to, to um, realize that, hey, maybe I can give this a try. And back in the Philippines, oh man, I, I, I have no one, I have nobody uh, uh, behind me in, in the uh, Philippine film and uh, TV industry. There's nobody backing, back me up, who, who, who backed me up. So, um, I can say that I really started from scratch, I worked my way up, and I made sure that I know each and every detail as to why I am doing acting. I made sure that uh, I know my purpose, why I'm doing this. 
So I'm 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 just so glad that I've 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 found that purpose. Yeah. You know, you're saying some very powerful um, manifestations because most people want want it, but they really don't know their purpose, and and certainly they can't get on a real path to confirm, you know, the yeah. direction. Why don't, why don't you share with the viewers so they can see, and, and I do this so that young artists, aspiring young people, don't get frustrated. Mm -hmm. So why don't you share with the, the viewers at what point did you have your biggest success and you know you knew at the time that you had arrived in this profession and it was a a true profession that would pay off for you yeah um mm, what i can say is that uh i truly believe in the saying um sometime somewhere there will be someone who will say yes to all of your dreams um just hang in there uh, someday it's all gonna pay off. All the hard work, all the the pain, all the 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 passion, all the sacrifices, all that will pay off in the end. Um, uh, so I started twenty. I started twenty twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen, but it was only s four years after that I was given my big break. Um, so when I f won my first award uh, in the Philippines, I knew back then that this is something that's been written for me. This is, this is something that's for me. Uh, all I had to do was to wait for the right time for me to to uh, finally be in it and live the moment. Um, right now, I know that I still have a lot to learn and I still have a long way to go, but I'm so glad that I'm somehow here uh, meeting you guys. One of the things that, that I admire about young young gentlemen like yourself is you have your whole future ahead of you. Why don't you share with the viewers, especially the, the Filipino uh, supporters that you have, have you first of all done any American films? And if so, what are they? And then let them know your social media so they can really follow you okay. and be inspired by you. So, um, well, I haven't done any American movies or uh, television series, but some, well, most of my films are in are, are on Netflix or and and uh, Prime Video. So, yeah, you, uh, if you guys are around Asia or around some parts of Europe, I guess you can watch my films on Netflix and on Prime Video. And you can uh, follow me on my social media accounts on Instagram, Christian Bables, the one that is verified, that's me. Uh, on TikTok, Christian Bables, verified account, that's me. And uh, yeah, that's it. I appreciate it.
one of the things our society uh, extends itself to is really how do we build a bridge not only for uh, actors who are gainfully uh, involved with projects and things, but how do we also make it attractive for young people and up and coming actors and actresses to really see that there are really solid agents and, and, and relationships that they can find here in Hollywood? Um, so honestly, I think it's going to be a case-to-case -case basis, uh, you know, for some actors. There are a lot of other Filipinos who want to be able to enter the mainstream, but the degree of what they wanted to achieve, it's still depending on their individual, um, how they wanted to be able to be at the level where they wanted to be. And I think for Christian, like he always say, he's always striving for excellence in this craft and to be able to showcase, you know, his love and passion for for the entertainment industry. And, and we're here to be able to help him bridge to that stage, to be able to capture the international market and global stage. Hi, this is Alan, and I am back with the, should I say, the queen of the night. Let's go. Miss, Miss Marie herself, she, this incredible woman has her fingers on the pulse of Hollywood, of business, and certainly knows how to capture the next superstar here in Hollywood. And, and, and I wanted to make sure that we got both of them on the red carpet here at the signing of Christian's night here in Hollywood, what can he be ready to be in store for now that he is configured with the Hollywood family? Honestly, I'm really excited of what's ahead, you know, for Christian. And I'm so yeah. excited and, you know, looking forward to what we can do together and what the company uh, legacy and of course, you know, ASAP that we can offer so that uh, he's gonna be able to transition into the global stage. Christian is already successful in the Philippines, but um, capturing, of course, the international market is the ultimate dream, at least for me, and I think also for him. Yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> well, you know, what was so incredible when I was, um, interviewing Christian he have such a humble understanding of the journey and when I find young people who have that it kind of allows them to maneuver through the terrain because we know here in Hollywood how rough it can be when you don't have those kind of characteristics when you add not only those kind of characteristics to a young person like him along with the right management along with the right agents, and along with the right opportunities. Maria, t share with him the, the, the family that he has surrounded himself with. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so uh, we started as, actually as friends. As friends. And um, I'm just fortunate that I am the one that he chose to, to guide him oh in this journey. Goodness. And what we provide with him is a whole support of the team so that he's gonna be successful. Um, and I'm lucky to be connected with a lot of amazing people with great you know, networks and connection that can help us achieve whatever goal that we have. So, Hollywood, here we come. Yeah. So, so we... I know, you know, what we try and do here uh, with technology is, is your following and things like that. Do you respond to a lot of your followers? Do you know what your followers are and things like that? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I love my followers. I actually don't call them followers. I call them my supporters uh, because these people has been supporting me 
um, in all of my goals and dreams. And uh, yeah, I love them as my family. And I see to it that I keep a constant communication with them. Um, I see to it that they know that they're seen and that they are heard. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. So far, he's got a strategy there, Marie. <laughs> if I may say so myself. So, right. <laughs> so as as a uh, manager in the in the entertainment area, what would what would you like to share with Christian tonight as he starts a new chapter with the team? Uh, with Hollywood and certainly all the opportunities you have? Mm -hmm. Well, the only thing that I would probably always be reminding him is to always be grounded, I determined, <laughs> and work really hard because, you know, Hollywood is a different ball game, but I know he's up for the game and he can do this. But we, of course, we just need to work double, you know, yeah. double the effort and work really, really hard. But whatever goals that we have set ourselves into for you, I know you can do this. We have so much faith for you and we Thank love you. and support you all the way. Thank you. All Thank the you. way. Getting ten high right now, Chris. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, if if I may just add to that, um, I'm just so grateful that I am now being surrounded with people that I share the same values with. Um, I know these people. I know these people will be with me and for me all throughout my journey, and uh, I am just so blessed to be guided by them, to be guided by the right people. Yeah. So you know, you know what I, I want. Christian to show us because he, he shared he shared with us his secret and he said that he really wanted to be a dancer so hopefully we can get yeah. we can oh. see if he can break dance and do yeah. some you know do all, of, do all of the dances we're we gonna check oh, you out go. tonight yeah. let's go <laughs> let's go so, so who, who's your favorite artist why don't you let us know that? oh my goodness too many to mention but um, to name a few I've always been fascinated with the works of um, Meryl Streep, Denzel Washington, uh, oh my goodness, um, uh, Eddie Redmayne, uh, uh, Heath Ledger, um, Joaquin Phoenix, and a lot more. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear any. I didn't hear any musicians in there. That's who I thought he was. <laughs> I thought she was gonna, I thought she was gonna start dropping some bars or something on some of the on some of the music music oh folks. So, His know? first love is acting. So yeah. That's why. Well, he he kind of said it was dancing when we when I interviewed him dancing, earlier. Dancing, but yeah. uh, right now, top priority is acting, dancing, and then singing. So 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 you know what that is, and it's called a what? You you are a what if you can master that? You are what? I I, I am a chameleon. In Hollywood, if you if you if you identify your your skills like that, you are called a triple threat. Triple threat. Yes, that's what it is. You're, okay. You're so if you can do, if you have three solid skills that you can go out there, you're a triple threat, and that's what everyone tries to master. Yeah, that's what they try and master here in Hollywood is to be a triple threat, so they can have music, so they can have entertainment. So they can have, you know, whatever else is that third thing. In your case, dancing. So you can really get up and you can add that into your movies because you're a fluent dancer. Well, as I, I told him, he's in our family now. So I'm going to help you. 
to identify with all the Hollywood folks. Uh -huh. And the reason why is because you're likely to run across a lot of them and be in the same room. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm ready for them. I'll be ready for them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so if you if you're in a room with a number of pretty established uh -huh. and yeah. uh, they don't feel they're getting love when they uh, get their script in their next movie, you know they may say, "Wait a minute, Christian didn't come up and say hi to me." No. Oh, yeah. Well, I will say hi to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I'm not familiar with them, I'm ready to say hi to all of you. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're gonna make sure that you're you're prepared when uh, when that moment comes. But oh, we're yeah. we're just happy that tonight it's all about Christian thank you. being a part of the family thank you, thank and you so being welcome here to Hollywood. So thank you, sir. Thank you. And and, and we're thank I'm, you. I'm I'm gonna look up everything on you. So that uh, I can be your historian, and then I'm gonna I'm I'm make sure my queen here uh, check it out so she can see that we're keeping Thank the you. marketing out there. I Thank really you. appreciate you. Thank All you right. so much. I appreciate you. Absolutely. Thank you. All right.